Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, Channel Donations, Venmo, and the Patreon family. We are working. Now, some very interesting news. It looks like Alexander Povetkin is going to return. They're saying December 17th against Christian Hammer. And it's supposed to be for a WBC version of the belt. Intercontinental, silver, interim, something. Right? And the WBC, upon the appealing of Alexander Povetkin, who failed two drug tests in 2016 and had his fight with Deontay Wilder, and then later his fight with Bermain Stavern, canceled. And he failed two drug tests for two different, different band PEDs. The first was meldonium. He kind of got off the hook because it was recently banned earlier that year in January. So they couldn't tell when he ingested it conclusively. So they put him in an eliminator with Bermain Stavern. Stavern went out to Russia. He was going to fight against Povetkin and they had a weigh in and everything. That day, they released the news that he tested positive, I think, for Osterine, which is basically a steroid. And I think Wilder and he ended up suing because the fight got canceled he probably lost money or didn't get his money i think he won and pavetkin was somehow allowed to fight johan duhapis he wasn't even wearing boxing shoes he was wearing like nike air maxes even though he failed a drug test and the stavern fight got canceled he knocked out johan duhapis and it was a brutal knockout and we haven't heard much from pavetkin now according to the wbc they're going to allow him back into the rankings in January of 2018. So it looks like, and, and Deontay Wilder told me this. I was at his last fight in the Barclays. He knocked out Stavern brutally in the first round. And he was he even said this. He told me that maybe Povetkin is back in the picture. So obviously he probably had heard the rumblings of this. So boxing is a crazy sport. I'm just tell you like that. It's crazy. It's crazy how you could fail two drug tests in the same year, which is potentially, depending on what you're on, you know what I mean? And and from what I heard and read about Meldonian, they said it makes you respond like the Energizer Bunny, giving you added energy and stamina and stuff like that. Povetkin, clearly an Olympic gold medalist, clearly a strong guy as is. So any type of unfair advantage, Osterine or whatever, is, is definitely cheating and he's going to be allowed back into the rankings crazy stuff it's funny what what money can do i mean that's the only thing i can think of is if money got him you know I me mean, excused because he appealed it i mean what what is there really to appeal you had two different things in your system in the same year and now you're coming back and your indefinite ban is being abolished or removed so shit fuck it i mean that's what the wbc is doing props to Povetkin. He, he he looks like he beat another case murder was the case that they gave me you know what i mean Povetkin beat another case and he's going to be allowed to compete so i guess we might get to see deontay wilder versus Povetkin, right and we were shit we might even see Luis king kong ortiz come back sounds like it's a free-for-all and the wbc is just you know what i mean they had a meeting with king kong ortiz so shit they might be back in the heavyweight picture Boxing is crazy. That's that's really all I gotta say. Antonio Margarito gets busted with Paris of plaster, or loaded gloves, or whatever. Felix Tito Trinidad guys, you know what I mean? They get caught with this stuff, um, like cheating, either loaded gloves or people getting tested positive, and then they serve like a little bullshit suspension, and I guess they get to come back and enter the rankings. And the thing is, how to like my thing for the WBC is where would you? Where would you rank Povetkin? Do you rank where he left off? You know what I mean? Is he move up? Move, does he move down? Because he hasn't really been active since Johan Duhapis, if I'm not mistaken. So I, I don't know how this works. That's the latest. Povetkin will be eligible to be back in the rankings, and he's fighting. So, like I said, money talks, and I ain't talk about the Chris Tucker movie. 
Let me know your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.